Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program on Wings. Um, before we start off with our program for today, I want to um, just give you a short update because as you might know, we have launched our two interplanetary missions and if we zoom out a bit, we can see right here that um, Sirius, our mission going up to Joule, has just left the sphere of influence of Kerbin. I think the sphere of influence of Kerbin is maybe around here or so. So uh, this mission has just left the sphere of influence of Kerbin and the Duna constellation is already a little bit um, more far away from Kerbin and it's going up to Duna as its name says. So yeah, um, both missions are uh, quite close to Kerbin but they have both left the sphere of influence of Kerbin and they are on their way to their um, other planetary targets like Joule and um, Duner. So yeah, so much about this update. I'm not quite sure how often I can do this update because I think at some point I need to just fast forward in time to arrive at these planets but I have uh, a lot of other things to do before I will do this so maybe I can give you all the time a little update and show you the progress of the both missions and how far they have gone from Kerbin since the, the last episode. So yes, um, going back to the space center I want to... come on, come on, I want to go over to the launch pad and select my planned mission, the supply ship number 3. I will explain you what I have or what is it good for the supply mission number 3, but at first I want to do the launch, so let me just prepare, enable SAS, throttle full up, and 3, 2, 1, and lift off. Here we go, we have a beautiful nighttime launch. Nighttime launches are all of the time pretty amazing because you can see the uh, fire of the rocket engines and it's, it's looking so bright and interesting. So yes, we are doing a nighttime launch. Okay, um, speaking about supply ship number 3, um, as you can see here in the middle it is equipped with a nuclear rocket engine and it has a huge fuel tank, no, not so much huge fuel tank but it's a big fuel tank and the only payload it has is a science junior. So you might ask, why do I launch a science junior on top of such a huge fuel tank with a nuclear rocket engine? And the nuclear rocket engine often means I will go interplanetary. So the answer you find on the opposite side of my spacecraft, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see up here, there is an antenna. So, why do I launch an antenna on top of this uh, interplanetary mission? Well, the answer comes from my Duna mission because, as you might remember, as I left the sphere of influence with my Duna constellation, I recognized that I've totally forgot to uh, put any antenna on my Duna constellation. I have already recognized this issue as I landed on the moon with a lander and I saw that I have no, land, uh, no antenna and I wasn't able to send back any crew reports and I thought this is not good for an interplanetary mission mission, especially if we are going up to Duna and we are have some different biomes like high above Duna, um, in space near Duna, in the atmosphere of Duna and maybe um, landed on Duna and the same thing goes for Ike because Ike is a moon of Duna and I want to visit Ike so I also like to have some crew reports while approaching Ike, while landing Ike and due to the fact that I can only store one crew report in the capsule I'm pretty much screwed um, concerning the crew reports um, if I can't transmit them back home. So that's why I'm launching right now this interplanetary mission because we are currently still aligned with Duner. So we still have the launch window that we can launch anything up to, uh, to Duner. And I think this mission will arrive there a little bit after the Duner constellation. But it's still okay because they have to wait anyways um, until they have the launch window or the return launch window to come back from Duner to Kerbin. And in this case I think it's no problem that they have to wait a little bit in an orbit around Duner until the supply mission arrives and they finally receive an antenna so they are able to send back some crew reports. And yeah, this is what I want to do. I'm just sending up a very, very expensive mission 
to bring an antenna up to Duner. And um, on the other hand, um, I think I have co I could have done this uh, again, or also with the with the much smaller fuel tank, because the the payload I will launch up to Duner and propel up to Duner with my nuclear rocket engine is just this little science junior but on the other hand um, I think if I'm using this uh, large fuel tank I will have some some fuel left over in my fuel tank when it's arrived at Duner and this can be used to um, as some some kind of refueling station for my Duner constellation because I'm not quite sure in the current configuration if I'm able to go to Ike and to land on Ike and return from Ike and land on Duner and return from Duner and so on and uh, finally fly back home. So I think it's it's a good use if I just in case send up some, some additional fuel up to Duner and maybe I can use this fuel to to have some some more science like as I said landing on Ike or doing anything uh, like this and being on the safe side that I can even return back to Kerbin without feeling the need of waiting uh, a complete period because if I recognize up in uh, Duner's orbit that I'm not able to return back to Kerbin because I don't have enough fuel then I'm pretty much screwed because then I need to wait for the next launch window from Kerbin to Duner and when this this fuel has arrived there I have to wait again until the return launch window so I think I'm more on the safe side if I'm bringing up some fuel now and being able to refuel there and being on the safe side so I can even do as I said fly up to Ike what I'm currently not think I'm able to with the current Duna constellation and yes this is pretty much what I want to do and so yeah um, this is my current goal and I think this is what I really want to do now I want just to check out with my oh wait with my current trajectory can I launch right away up to Duner or do I need to do a complete orbit around or can I do it from the launch right away let's check this out Whoa. we almost got an encounter let me see can I have an encounter? Are we well aligned? No, no, we are not. Or do we? Uh, we are not off kilter. No, I don't think so. We can't do this. I have to enter an orbit before I I will set my maneuver up to Duner. And um, Speaking of fuel, I'm also thinking about doing a little bit uh, the same for my jewel mission because the jewel configuration um, has not so much fuel left that it can visit so many different moons of jewel and I think it would be a good idea if I bring up some some additional fuel up to jewel so I can dock to it and refuel my, my serious mission and as soon as I I finished my um, my launch up to Duner, I will launch um, uh, almost similar configuration to to this configuration here to the supply ship number three, and have also another interplanetary launch up to Jewel um, to bring up some some more fuel, because I really like to to enable my my serious mission um, to visit more than just one uh, moon or more than just jewel and so yeah this is my current goal and so I will have let me just check yes everything is in order so I think I will have some more missions or some additional fuel and supply mission up to jewel just in case or just to be sure that I will be able to um, to do what I want to do because Jewel has also a, a very long launch window and I don't want to miss it and if I'm going up to Jewel I want also to be able to to have a visit of maybe one or two moons of Jewel instead of just orbiting uh, around Jewel and waiting for the return launch window so in this case I like to bring up some additional fuel and um, be able to refuel up there if I need to and um, well, to to be able to visit other moons like, like um, what do we have there? We have Tylo, we have Bob, we have Vale, uh, we have 
we have how this ocean plan uh, ocean moon called um um can i see it somewhere tylo lace lace we have also lace there and i think it would be pretty cool if i can visit more than jewel also and here this is my my current idea so now we have to make sure that we no no not the north pole that we launch up to jewel let me just oh this was pretty good let me just move this a bit not as good let's turn the whole thing around and do we have our launch window or our encounter almost come on come on come on now we are drifting away come on come on come on there it was yes there it is we have a duna encounter in 56 days this is good do we have anything strange like in our uh, jewel launch no we don't have any encounter with the moon this is good or with 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 minmis so this is pretty pretty amazing the launch window is in in a half an hour i like to use a little bit of this fuel here before i will ditch the stage so i am able to to um save a little bit of this fuel up in the upper stage so let me just move forward in time come on come on come on cannot warp faster than 50 times okay uh, so we have to deal with it that we are can't fa move fast for um faster than this and here this is pretty much everything i'm doing a huge mission just to bring up a little tiny antenna up to Duner, and well of course a little bit fuel to to make sure that i can do much more things um and this is pretty much what i want to do okay we are coming right up and let's have a break here around three minutes before the maneuver node let's aim for it okay this looks pretty good i will start in 10 seconds so three three minutes before the burn and four three two one and full throttle here we go i like to use about uh, or i like to have a quarter left in my fuel tank so i'm sure that i can return back home hopefully and let my upper stage disintegrate and then i will switch over to the nuclear rocket engine and um, use it to propel myself onto a trajectory going up to duner and even if i'm running out of fuel while um, i want to return back to the surface of Kerbin, i have a little bit rcs left and the rcs can be also used to um to to um, kill my orbital velocity so i will drop down into the atmosphere and finally disintegrate my upper stage my upper launch stage so yeah okay um we are using the fuel this is looking pretty good and only a few seconds to go until i will shut down this engine like on okay like about now this is good enough let's let's ditch this oh no oh no i think this is not good um you can remain there yes this was not good because now i have lost the ah oh, this is bad why can't i just save a maneuver node this would be so amazing if i could do this um try this once more we need to bring the thing out oh crap now i need to redo this, this whole maneuver node thing where where's my drill encounter where's my duna encounter oh you wasn't set as a target this is strange why are why you weren't set as my target and come on come on now i need to oh crap oh crap okay <sighs> but I think it was oh I think it was pretty much in this direction here because I, I hope I'm hopefully still aligned with it. So I will just do a burn 
for a few few minutes so I can raise a bit my my Kerbin apoapsis and I hope I won't screw everything but I like to to use right uh, currently the the opportunity okay let's extend these panels I like to use the opportunity uh, being here at the right spot even if I'm not currently having the the maneuver node it's a little bit bad that I don't have the maneuver node um, and that I can't save a maneuver node well I could probably could do this um, using mods but as you might know I'm not so much a big fan of using mods because I like to, to play the game as it is um, and not having um, any mods installed or so even though there are some pretty interesting mods but on the other hand as I said I like to play it more in the vanilla case and so yeah this is this is my own approach and that's why I'm not using more mods and that's why I'm complaining uh, currently about why can't I just save my maneuver nodes and being able to to do anything and blah 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 so yeah this is currently my approach and I think it's the best way to do it or it's my way to do it okay um while I'm raising up I want to have uh wait what why are you moving around I want to check out if I'm whoa what wh why why okay the maneuver node is is going crazy while I'm under acceleration, okay. This is strange. Um, let's have a quick check how high is my apoapsis. I like to raise, raise it until maybe one hour that I arrived there in one hour and then I will cut the engine and uh, set a new maneuver node. So this could be a good idea. Let's see. And then I'm hopefully able to to do in the next orbit my, my final burn up to Duner. Okay, let's kill this here. Very good. Uh, strange maneuver node. Let's supply ship number and how you are called supply ship three probe. Um, wait, let's change this. I want to rename vessel supply uh, Duna supply. Okay, very good. Let's switch over to this thing. Switch to. Okay, supply ship three is again pretty much scrolled out. Where are you? Ah, there it's coming. Okay, now let's turn. Whoa, let's turn retrograde and throttle up. There goes my periapsis, and it's gone. So we will splash down or disintegrate in the atmosphere. That is very good. Do not supply. Let's switch back to it. Okay, do not supply. Now let's check it out. I think probably at the periapsis at the good spot. And nope. I want to zoom out to see Duner set it as my target. And let oh. Let's play around and come on, I... Yes, there it is. Do an encounter in 57 days. This is amazing. It's looking good. So, wow, in two hours. Okay, in two hours comes the launch window. Let's speed up things. Wait. Ah... Uh, now I have the same problem as again. As I said, I wanted to do the, the jewel launch. Oh no, I have now set my maneuver node. I don't want to redo this. So I will do the the, the, uh, the launch for, for, for jewel later on. Because currently uh, I don't want to, to screw things up. Ok, 
Okay, five minutes. Three minutes. Maybe around two and a half minutes I will start my burn. So I don't want to uh, screw things up and I don't want to to do things over again like fi uh, finding out the maneuver nodes in this case. I will just do the insertion burn and afterwards I will um, launch my jewel mission or my jewel supply mission because this this sounds much better than than doing the, the maneuver node again just because I have to launch my jewel mission. Okay, let's check this out. Only three minutes. Okay, then I will wait a little bit. Um, three minutes, so one and a half minutes maybe. Like now. Okay, let's roll up again. Um, yeah, while I'm now doing the burn, I can talk a little bit about other things because I said in the beginning of this episode, as I showed you the progress of our interplanetary missions, that I will show you at each beginning of the episode the progress of our missions so you have some, so you can keep track of them and how far they have gone so far. Um, what I want to do after in the last episode I launched this research satellite which is currently uh, doing some some science stuff around Kerbin. I said that I want to what do I want to I want to um, do a research satellite or research missions with the gravioli detector also for moon and probably for Minmus. So at least for Moon I like to to launch also a satellite. I decided I built a satellite and I've already prepared a satellite I want to launch up there. So I will do um, a Moon mission to research all these things. Maybe I have to do two um, satellites up to, to the Moon because I want to have the polar regions and I also want to have the, the um, equator regions. And um, Probably that's why I have to launch or I will launch two different missions. And also I want to, even though it has no direct use, I want to have some kind of immune base. So I have already uh, built some some lander, which is the same time uh, base because it has uh, this, this crew container where about four Kerbals can stay and resident. So um, I like to launch this thing and build some kind of Duna base, uh, not Duna base, of Moon base. So I have a central spot where I can land and maybe I will use it as a test bed or as a test area if I've built my first rover and I want to um, have a, a spot where I can land the rover and where I can store my crew and where the crew can find some rest. And this is probably the case for my um, from my moon base I will launch. So the moon base is already built. It only needs to be launched up into space and up to the moon. And afterwards I will also like or I like to bring back the research satellites or maybe I will bring them back later on. I'm not quite sure what will what I will do with the research satellites. But at least um, I have two missions going up to the moon which are already planned and scheduled. One is uh, or two are research satellites and the next one is uh, as the moon base I like to launch. So this, these things are pretty exciting hopefully and um, yeah, maybe I will do something with Minmus. I'm not quite sure, maybe another, oh, let me just keep track of my, of my maneuver that I'm not overshooting. And as soon as I have my encounter I will cut the engine let me see. Okay, let's cut the engines and remove the maneuver node. And yes, we have an encounter in 56 days or about 57 days. This is amazing. And well, the periaps is pretty high, but we can adjust this as soon as we're coming closer. So here goes my, my supply mission. And as you can see, I have pretty much f uh, a high amount of fuel left in this fuel tank. This is amazing. So everything is as planned. I'm bringing up an antenna and I'm bringing some supply fuel up to Duner. And the next thing is doing almost the same thing for, for Jewel. So I have also some additional fuel up around Jewel. So we will meet us again on the launch pad. Okay, we are back on the launch pad. Let's enable SAS, throttle for up and three, two, one and lift off. Here we go again. So uh, this time it's a supply mission up to Jewel. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, 
However, I have not added the the um, science container, the science junior, and also not an antenna because the um, serious mission is already equipped with an antenna and with enough science containers. In this case, I will just uh, launch a fuel tank up to Joule to have some kind of supply station up around Joule to be able to refuel and to be able to do more science in the Joule system. And this is pretty much what I'm doing. Um, the rocket itself and the mission itself it's is pretty much the same thing as uh, before. So there isn't anything new. Uh, the only new thing, as you might say, is the, the, the target. Um, so this thing is going up to Jewel. And I will just mostly uh, show you currently the, the launch of it, because launches are pretty interesting when you see all the, the booster tanks falling apart and going down. And let's have an interesting view. Maybe so. This could be interesting. Let's keep this view a little bit. Um, so yeah, um, it has not uh, so many new things to it. So I'd like just to show you the most interesting part as we... Oh, why is it so wobbly? As we see um, the Kerbal Space Center getting close, uh, getting smaller and smaller while we are going higher and higher. And um, then I will bring you back in as soon as we are just before we finish our um, insertion burn to Jewel. Because I think in general it's pretty much the same thing as before as I launched up to, to Duner. And um, so I don't think it's so much more interesting, especially because it's, it's just a huge fuel tank equipped with some SAS and some solar panels and a nuclear rocket engine which is going up into space and in this case I don't think it's so much interesting to see the whole process once more because I've just showed you the, the process of uh, launching um, a supply mission up to Duner and because I'm currently doing exactly the same thing I think have another scenic view like this. I think it's not so much interesting for you and that's why I can just skip the you through the, the launch process and uh, bring you back in as soon as we finished our launch and we are aiming for a jewel and we are leaving this view of, um, of Kerbin. So yeah, so much about this and we have our next boost separation in a few seconds. So let's see. There goes our Kerbal Space Center, goodbye. And we are running out of fuel for the stage now. And goodbye. There goes our booster engines and our booster tanks. We are now separated from them. And as I said, I will bring you back in when we finished our launch and when we are going to Jewel. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. We are on the last minute of our insertion burn towards Joule. As you can see, I have already raised my apoapsis in the gap between Dress and Joule. And we have only 45 seconds to go until we, we reach the, uh, the planned maneuver. And we hopefully have our encounter with Joule. We will then trim as soon as we get closer to Joule. So we have a, a great or a perfect approach to Joule. And we can also have some aero braking maneuvers. So um, we won't use too much of our own fuel to slow down and to enter a stable orbit around Joule. But this will happen in a later episode. Because at first we need to fly up there. And we arrive there in about 208 days. As soon as the the encounter or the maneuver node comes through. Let's see. Okay, here we come. We have the first signs on our orbital map. And there we have our encounter. Let's... When does it align? Now it aligns perfectly. Okay, in 208 or 7 days. I'm not quite sure. Let's remove this one year no i want to no not Kerbin. i want to yes i want to remove this we have our encounter in 207 days this is amazing and we have currently an apoapsis of wow a lot of kilometers but as i said when we are getting closer we will do our um, correction burn and finally make sure that we are coming down into the atmosphere of jewel oh we have an uh, eclipse this is amazing we can see an eclipse of the sun from the moon. This is great. This is great. This is this is really amazing to see this. 
uh, we are lucky while we are leaving our our uh, sweet and brave Kerbin for for a very long time or maybe forever because I don't think that this refueling mission will ever return so so yeah um, and while we are watching this eclipse thank you so much for watching I hope you liked my episode of launching two supply missions up to Jewel and Duner if you do so please like subscribe and comment on the in on it and I hope I see you again in the next episode when we continue with our research and our missions until then my name is Ebi see you Thank <laughs> you.